Hey guys, this is Nick with Phone Arena and I just spent two weeks without my Samsung Galaxy S5 smartphone. During that time I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat, I couldn't focus at work so I lost my job, my girlfriend left me, I had to live in the street and sleep under bridges. Okay, I'm just kidding, having no smartphone for a few weeks wasn't that bad. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I volunteered to spend some time without a smartphone just to see if I wasn't getting overly attached to it. And in this video, I'm about to share how my experiment went and what I learned from it. So the first few days were definitely the hardest. Instead of my Galaxy S5, I had to use this basic phone, which had no apps, no internet access whatsoever. Only minutes after switching to this basic phone, I was getting the feeling that something wasn't right. The weight of my smartphone was missing from my pocket and this kind of made me feel nervous, like I just lost something valuable. Also, I have this bad habit of uh, checking the news, the weather, my Facebook page, my Twitter feed all the time. Of course, I couldn't do this with this basic phone, but nevertheless, my hand was itching to reach for my pocket. Actually, I kept on checking my basic phone for missed notifications all the time just because I already had developed that habit with my Galaxy S5. Several days into my experiment, I was starting to notice the benefits of not having a smartphone. First of all, the basic phone I was using was not bothering me every 5 minutes with notifications, messages and uh, whatnot. It was definitely not as distracting as my Galaxy S5. I couldn't waste time with pointless applications and uh, addicting games like I could with my smartphone. Besides, I didn't have to worry about things like charging my smartphone overnight and uh, making sure that I don't scratch it by dropping it. No! Dropping my basic phone by accident wasn't a big deal because there wasn't much on it that could break. Also, without a smartphone, I wasn't getting phantom vibrations anymore. That's when you can feel your phone vibrating in your pocket when it actually isn't. These vibes were gone, probably because my basic phone just didn't vibrate as often as my Galaxy S5. At the same time, I was missing the convenience of having a smartphone, which made me realize how many features I had been taking for granted all along. I couldn't set reminders as easily, I couldn't use Spotify or YouTube at any time, I had to ask people to Google things for me because I couldn't, and I was struggling with the keypad on my basic phone. But most of all, I was missing the camera on my Galaxy S5. Actually, I love taking photos and I think that having a great camera on you all the time is one of the great things about having a smartphone. In conclusion, smartphones are definitely fun and functional, but their heavy use may have its side effects. They're highly distracting, they may mess up with your health, and they're great at ruining social interactions. Still, I'm convinced that they do much less harm than good. That's why we should try to use them with moderation instead of getting overly attached to them. If you ever start feeling that you're getting addicted to your smartphone, try forcing yourself to put it down for a few days, kind of like what I did. Try to not use it when it's not appropriate, don't take photos of every meal, try to enjoy your time instead. And seriously, don't waste your time on addicting games and uh, pointless websites, you'll thank me later. So that's what I learned after spending two weeks without a smartphone. Thank you for your interest and if you want to learn more about my experiment, just go to our website, phonearena.com.